top team. Kansas has taken the long road here. After a full run of start, they have led to the battle. When the first season at the HP crowd, then off to the Windy City for the great eight and revenge versus Arizona. Back home for one game, then off to the nation's capital and their only loss versus Maryland. Back to Lawrence where they survived a battle against UMass. Then a short hop to Kansas City as they welcomed a new face in 6'8 sophomore transfer Lester Earl. After a win at USC, on to Hawaii to face a red hot freshman. the Special Events Center in Honolulu, Hawaii, where the number three-ranked Kansas Jayhawks take on the Ohio State Buckeyes. Kansas in with one loss and 14 wins. The Buckeyes, seven wins, three losses. This is the second day of first-round action at the Rainbow Classic. Yesterday, Nebraska and Hawaii winners in a game preceding this one. Vanderbilt, the winner over New Mexico State, awaiting the winner of this one between Ohio State and Kansas. Hi again, everyone, with Larry Conley, Dwayne Stats, and welcome to Honolulu. Well, you've heard by now, Kansas, without their Player of the Year candidate, Rafe LaFrance, he has a broken right hand sustained in practice here Friday. And, Larry, the question is now, what do the Jayhawks do? When they go to their backup center, Eric Chenoweth, a young man, a freshman out of the state of California, performed very well against Southern Cal in his first start this past weekend. He's the guy they really need to have some strong rebounding on the inside. They've got Lester Earl in the lineup tonight, I think principally because they're looking for some more support off of that glass. Larry, the Buckeye. They're in a rebuilding mode, but what better place to start than the most prolific scoring freshman in the nation is Michael Red. Yeah, there's a great group of freshmen in this country this year, scores, but this guy might be the best. Look at this reversal oh, with the left hand off of the glass. He can do more than just that. Yes, he puts it on the floor, but look at this great shot from beyond the three-point line. He has everything you want in a player. He's got size, physique, stamina, strength, a lot of energy, and he's an outstanding defender. But in store tonight from the Rainbow Classic, it will be Kansas against Ohio State, and with LaFrenz out, the Jayhawks will ask their 6'7 junior, Paul Pierce, to step it up. He's averaging just under 20 points a game. Tip-off is coming up from Honolulu. For Kansas, Lester, the latest addition, an insertion into the starting lineup as they try to get a little more beef with the friends out of the lineup. We're set to go. Johnson jumping center against Earl. And Kansas with the opening tip. Eric Chenoweth. Jim O'Brien said today we're going to play a lot of zone. And the first shot of the game, Earl, but he traveled with the basketball. And Ohio State will get it right back. Roy Williams, 10 years, 261 wins at Kansas. Out of North Carolina in 1972, spent 10 years with Dean Smith there. Ohio State with a basketball, Davis a little trouble and loses the ball, and that's something we might keep an eye on because of his background. Again, a new position for Carlos Davis. Well, two possessions, two turnovers by both clubs. Chenoweth making his second start. He got to start his last time out, his first of his young career against Southern California. They swing it to Robertson. Here's Trumpet. It's a three attempt. Not going to go. Davis with the rebound. Very miss out there for that young man. He's shooting 51% from beyond that three-point line. And there's a man-to-man defense. Turnaround by Johnson. It rolls off. Will not go. The loose ball headed for the corner. And it's going to belong to Kansas. Dwayne, one of the things Jim O'Brien told me at the shoot-around today, he says, we're going to play a lot of zone. He said, you'll see a triangle and two out of us, and we'll match up. And we'll also do a box and chaser whenever Paul Pierce is out there. First year at Ohio State after a lengthy stay at Boston College and a great opportunity for both the Buckeyes and O'Brien. In the early stages, they have made a great match. Robertson over to Thomas. That's the legitimate outside threat. There's a ball fake and a shot for the goal. Will not drop for him. Headed across the baseline. Saved by Earl between his legs. What an acrobatic and athletic performance that was. And here's Pierce missing a shot from outside. Ball stripped from Thomas. This is right on the 
block. And that ball is blocked. Sanderson has his shot rejected. Lester Earl blocked it and kept right on going. I think he's all right. Yeah, he's coming back. Runs his way back in. Oh, what an effort. Watch this follow-up now. They've got the good break. Look at that rejection. He kept right on going right over the table. You talk about a lively body. That describes Earl. Oh, does he? He's got great hops. His legs, he's very, very quick to that basket, as you can just see. Here's has the ball slapped away, picked up by Ken Johnson. Now ahead, Singleton, it rolls off. And the whistle that ball will go the other way. Well, neither club getting anything done right now. I don't know if it's a uh, condition of nerves on the part of these two teams or what it is, but uh, we've had turnovers and all the shots have been missed. Roy Williams playing without Rafe LaFrenz, and they figure to be without LaFrenz for six to eight weeks. That's the initial prognosis. Ryan Robertson. Uh, stayed in that 1 3 1 matchup zone. Davis on the point. Thomas right back to Pierce, who takes it down and pops from 12. Rolls off, will not go. And Michael Red with a rebound. Red not only averaging just under 24 points a game, but over seven rebounds a game from that guard position to lead Ohio State. There's a turnover intercepted by Pierce. It's two on one, but Pierce dropped it. Now picks it up to Thomas, who lays it away. Almost blew the two on one. Yeah, Pierce got it back, though. Was able to uh, get his composure, got it back inside, and get our first two points of the game after about 245 a point. Carlos Davis, the senior out of Columbus, Ohio. Singleton inside, and it's good. Jason Singleton, he's a junior from Detroit. First bucket for Ohio State. This one knocked away by Davis. Davis headed to the bucket and gets the dunk. So Davis on the steal, converts it into two. Quickly into the front court. Chenoweth swings it to Thomas. Zone packed back on the inside. They'll follow Pierce. That's the guy they want to kind of key on. He and Billy Thomas, particularly from the outside. Earl looking underneath for the big freshman who mishandles the ball out of bounds, and the Buckeyes will get it back. Inbound to Red. Sanderson. Michael Red. Singleton finds him. To the bucket and in. Well, that's something they worked on a lot today in their shoot around is backdoor cuts off of that Kansas wing pressure. Nice pass. Pierce and Pierce will get the bucket. Boy, we'll send him to the line. Give that sophomore from Fayetteville, Arkansas, Nick Bradford, a lot of credit. That was a great move down inside, giving it up just at the right time. Watch this. Good defense by Ohio State. Watch Pierce make the roll down inside. Bradford with a little shovel pass down in there, and there's the foul. One of the things you'll notice about Ohio State tonight, they don't play a lot of people. Six, and that's about it. Pierce will not get it to drop. The foul on Singleton hits first. Buckeyes back with the basketball. Carlos Davis. Inside, a quick pass for Red, who misses the shot. Bradford with a rebound. Robertson looking. There's Thomas. Outside now comes down to the baseline. Billy Thomas, the senior out of Shreveport. Not often you see him take the ball hard to the basket, but he did that time. Pulled up and had a nice little six-foot shot. He has seven points. Seven of the nine for Kansas. The shot's not going to go. Kept alive. Out front, it's picked up by Davis. A one-point game. Kansas grabbing a 9-8 advantage. Davis almost found himself no place to go as Red comes in. And we're going to go the other way. Red trying to force his way inside. He's going to pick up an offensive foul. Red seems a little bit out of sync to start this game. I think the Kansas defense is really focusing on him, making sure he doesn't get untracked. A guy that's averaging 24 points a game, or nearly 24. You know they're going to try to shut him down because he is really the only scorer they have. He's had 20 points in nine of the 10 Buckeye games this year. This is Thomas again for three. Will not go this time. Sanderson with a rebound. Red. Ohio State looking for help across the front line. In pretty good shape in the backcourt with Red and Davis. Although Davis playing at the point guard position, a new position for him. They're looking for development from the front line. There's a pass from Singleton, nowhere to go. 
behind Red, and the turnover gives it back to Kansas. Brian Robertson directing the show for the Jayhawks. Down to the corner, Bradford out of there. Not going to go, and Sanderson with another rebound. Sanderson, the freshman out of Lexington, Ohio. They really depend on he and Johnson to do everything they can inside to help those three guys outside who are the scorers. Well, Johnson with that little baby hook he's been working on, but it will not go for him. Chenoweth down with the ball. Robertson again to the corner. Pierce hands up. Not going to go save from going out of bounds. Singleton saved it. Davis. The bounce pass, Red keeps it alive against Whoa. three defenders and finds Johnson. Wow, Red is having a Two plays, not only keeping the ball alive, keeping his dribble alive, and then making the great pass. Oh, Michael Red showing you some great maneuverability in the paint right there. Kansas had good defense. He was able to get through it, around it, and make a terrific pass. And here's that play on the dunk by the sophomore Ken Johnson. Buckeyes of Ohio State enjoying a six-point lead on the Kansas Jayhawks with seven minutes left. And here's the breakout. Ohio State from the floor in good shape, but a different story for the Jayhawks, Larry. Yeah, look at the percentages. You can see Ohio State at 47%. Kansas a very, very bad 26%. But look at the points in the paint. Ohio State already with 16. If Ray LaFrance is in the lineup, it's going to be more than eight, which is what Kansas has through the first 13 minutes of this first half. You know, the one thing you've got to do if you're, if you're a Kansas fan or a Kansas player, and, and I know the coaching staff has already told the players this, you've got to forget about it. He's gone. He's going to be gone for six to eight weeks. You've got to go on and play. Right now, I think they are missing him terribly. And it's not something new for Kansas. They had some injury problems last year they had to overcome. Well, Scott Pollard went down in the midseason, and uh, actually, Ray French really picked them up. In fact, he really carried them through the middle part of that season. Sanders, oh, look at this. Sanderson finally got rid of it, found Red, and what a move by Red on the reverse. With the right hand. Red with nine points, giving Ohio State this 21-13 lead. Brantford trying to shake loose inside. Thomas from three, boy, that would have been a difference in the hurry. Billy Thomas, the most prolific three-pointer for Kansas, now has ten in this game. Well, the thing about it is, as I said, they're going to get some wide-open shots out there. So far, they've not been able to get them to go in. Kansas picking up their defense a little bit now, too. And they forced the turnover. The pass intended low for Michael Ray. Watch the movement. Good move here by Red. Gets inside. Just going to get oh, look at the oh. Oh. Now a three-point game. The bell. Davis hangs it up, rolls off. He's going to go out of bounds, and Kansas will get possession. Dwayne seeing signs right there that maybe Ohio State might be rushing that offense a little bit, and also on the other side of the point, Kansas' defense is a little bit better. Unanswered buckets of three by Thomas and two by Pierce. It's down to 21 18. This one will. The Buckeyes come away with the defensive board. Getting good looks, Kansas is, but they just can't get them in there. Singleton. Ohio State, once again, show, showing patience on offense. Did not do that the last trip down the floor. Ohio State playing with what turns out to be limited. Yeah, Sanderson up to the corner, finds Red, will not go, and Johnson comes up with a rebound. He turns, but Pierce, no good. And there's a whistle on the reach over by Sanderson. Bradford down with a rebound. We mentioned the limited depth for Jim O'Brien. Coleman is out with the cut over his right eye. Stitches, six to eight stitches, we understand, and will be back. They need anybody they can get off the bench. Thomas with a three. 
Now he starts lighting it up. Ohio State's going to have to extend a little bit. Thomas has 13 for Kansas. And that three ties the game at 21. A 20-second timeout on the floor. Well, Billy Thomas with a couple of good long-range shots. Anytime you can get this guy fired up and get him loose out there, it forces the defense to come out and play. Could open it up a little bit more on the inside. Maybe help Lester Earl or Paul Pearson there to get a few more points. And he's hit three threes, three out of five from three-point range for Billy Thomas. There he is, leading Kansas for all-time three-pointers now with 214, including the three tonight. Instant offense, and he has given them some of that tonight. Thanks, guys. Hustle. Thank you. Hustle. Ohio State with the ball in this tie game. Kansas trying to turn the fire up a little bit, get the tempo up to their liking. This is a club that's averaging 88 points a game, and they like to go up and down the floor. Ohio State trying to resist that. Ohio State averaging under 70 points a game. Here's McGrath putting on some pressure. Sanderson away with the ball, headed to the puck, and has it stripped, and a whistle and a foul. I think McGrath is going to get the foul. Kansas almost with a steal in a couple of places on the floor that time. Ohio State very fortunate to keep possession. Give the foul to Nick Bradford instead. And this will send Singleton to the line. Kansas with only three team fouls to this point in the half. Ohio State with the four. Jason Singleton again struggling from the line coming into this game just at 35% for the year. One more guy. Missed a couple earlier and converts this one. What is going to look great on that? Bend the, good bend in the knees, coming back up, a release, good follow through. Sometimes I think standing at that free throw line is a state of mind. Mm -hmm. This one will go. McGrath back for the Jayhawks. Out of the corner. Here's Robertson for three. Ryan Robertson, the junior out of St. Charles, Missouri. Just over three minutes to play in the half. And just up by two. It's a pretty good coaching move on the part of Roy Williams. Backs up size-wise, quickness-wise, with this Buckeye team. Right now, they've got a two-point lead for Kansas State. And a six on the shot clock and a whistle. And McGrath. McGrath charged with his first. Not a bad foul. You're going to take it. If you're beaten, go ahead and... Uh, Take the shove. You're not into the one and one. Carlos Davis working the ball against McGrath. Why are they trying to control this offense as best they can? Singleton and the red. Here's a three attempt. Long and Thomas comes up with a shot. I think Bradford looking. I think Bradford bothered him when he got to the corner. Robertson trying to go low to Pierce out of bounds Buckeyes get it back timing was not very good there Robertson had a wide open alley to throw that ball down to Pierce low on the block didn't make a very good pass to him Ohio State down by two Sanderson looking for some help back to Sanderson his second foul. And he comes back with a bigger lineup now, putting Jim Wilson and Lester Earl back in there. McGrath and Bradford depart. Here's Kenny Gregory coming back in the lineup. He's only played three minutes in this first half, and this is a school, obviously, that recruited him very heavily. He was from Columbus, Ohio. In fact, still is. Jason Singleton to tie the game at 24. Gregory getting a chance to play against a, a school that he probably saw a lot of when he was in high school. And getting a chance to play against Michael Red, the outstanding freshman from Ohio State. They faced each other in high school. Ball loose and Earl 
comes up with it. Look what I found, and Earl knew exactly what to do with it. Well, John Sanderson that time was battling Michael Red. They were on the same team. Battled each other, and the ball went back to Kansas for an easy one. Red with a basketball. Once again, a high post pick, the spread offense. See Ohio State trying to pick high, even beyond the free throw uh, line again the three point line. Very dangerous. Nobody coming to the ball. This is a feed out of the way, and we're going to have a goaltending call against Chenoweth. Singleton will get the bucket on the goaltending charge to Eric Chenoweth. Under a minute to play in the first half of this one. A misconnect on the pass intended for Gregory. Robertson threw it just a little bit too far to the right of the backboard. Gregory inside, not going to drop for Red comes up with that loose ball. 38 seconds left. Only about four seconds difference with the game clock and the shot clock. You know, Dwayne, if you analyze this first half, it's really gone the way the Ohio State hoped it would. Even though, even though they've lost one of their key players right now, the Sean Coleman with that eye injury, they've been able to keep close to Kansas. That's exactly what Jim O'Brien wanted to do. He has slowed this game down. It's to his pace and his liking. Ohio State looking for the final shot. This one will not go, but a whistle. Three, a red missed the shot. The foul against John Sanderson. There's Deshaun Coleman on the bench right there with uh, what looks like uh, we were told six to eight stitches over that right eye. Good to see him back. Kansas with a basketball, four seconds left. First half, Thomas with a three attempt, will not go, and there's the buzzer. As Johnson battled Earl right down to the closing second in the first half. To end this first half, all tied. Jason Singleton with 11 points here at the half in double figures leading Ohio State. They have tied it at 26. The Ohio State Buckeyes in this rebuilding mode under Jim O'Brien tied at the half with number three ranked Kansas. Field goal percentage, you can see the Buckeyes shooting 44%. They missed a couple right at the end of the half. Look at the rebound. Ohio State with a one rebound lead in that first half and also the points in the paint outscoring the Jayhawks by 10. There's the reason. The guy that led them in the rebound he got that injury. Well, right now they're minus one, and they've been rebound out rebounding clubs almost at a 10 rebound per game average. Same starting lineup to start the second half. It started the first half. Robertson trapped in the corner, knocked out of bounds by Michael Red. So Kansas will hang on. Robertson and Thomas. Earl starting Pierce and Chenoweth, the five on the floor for Kansas. Jayhawks with a basketball. Buckeyes back into that three zone defense. And Ohio State's going to come back. They'll have Carlos Davis and Michael Red out front. Ken Johnson has done a nice job inside in the middle. He is flanked by Singleton and Sanderson. Third turnover for Ryan Robertson. Singleton off the glass on the feed from Davis. Singleton now has 13. It's most of his stuff on the inside. Had 11 in that first half now with 13. Most of it in the paint area. Robertson with a three attempt. That's going to go. Chenoweth could not hang on to the battle for the rebound. Red with a long pass. Singleton, a nice move to the bucket by Robertson. Oh, maneuver to get around the charge. Ryan Robertson ready to take it, and he just kind of turned his body to the right side and floated by. Ohio State with the first couple buckets here to start second half action. Well, that's what you like to see for Jim O'Brien. See your point from out positive. Chenoweth down with the ball this time. Tries to go back up, and here's a whistle. Now, there's a positive note, Dwayne. The fact that Eric Chenoweth went up, got the rebound, did kick it back out, took it with a good, strong power move, and tried to get it back up. That's what they need out of this young man, and they're going to need it for the next couple of months. Ken Johnson charged with his second foul, sending Chenoweth to the line. Chenoweth, a pretty good free throw shooter as well. Better than 70% on the year. It hits this one. Roy Williams was saying earlier this afternoon, Larry, when uh, you and I uh, talked with him, they're going to have to ask Chenoweth to accelerate his 
development uh, over the next couple of months uh, accelerated maybe a couple of years. Yeah, and the thing about it was it was nice play by a regular friend. You get a chance to learn a lot behind a guy like that. Now you've got to step up. You've been thrown into the fire. Red is on the floor. Kansas missed it. Nice pass from Robertson and a whistle underneath as he found Earl. Michael Red floating around in there. Anytime Kansas goes for a double team, you know that those Buckeyes are going to look for him. Standing all by himself on that left side, and he can drill this one and does. Earl will go to the line looking at two. Earl three out of eight from the line now. This is his third game with Kansas. The man who transferred from LSU. Played 11 games with LSU. Makes this one. Much Valley Hoos player coming out of high school. One of the most recruited guys his senior year in high school. He's going to help them before the year's out. He's going to get uh, back into his customary position of playing above that rim. Ohio State by four. Robertson knocks it away from Red. There's the ball deflected. Goes out of bounds and will walk the other way. Kansas arguing that the ball was tipped by Ohio State, but the Buckeyes will get the basketball. You know what? I think they're right. Roy Williams right there. You can see him in disgust, squatting in front of his bench. I think, I think in fact, it did. It was touched by some Buckeye player. I'm not sure who it was. Carlos Davis takes the ball down the sideline. Red baseline working against Thomas Turns. And there's a fallaway jumper, and he is fouled. Hit on the arm. And Thomas gets red. First foul against Thomas. You know, Red tried to maneuver down on that baseline. Thomas was with him every step of the way. Then when he turned with his back to the basket, had that wide open shot. Thomas was off balance, actually reeling on his heels. Red with 12 tonight had a 30-point game against Southern California. He's the most for an Ohio State freshman since Herb Williams scored 34 back in... November of 1977. This guy's a complete player. He is fun to watch. Creates his own shot, as we've seen. And penetrate, can hit from outside. Converts both from the line. Six-point spread by Ohio State. That's 14 for Red tonight. 35-29, Ohio State. 17-15 to play. But that's not in any hurry right now. Jim, Jim O'Brien did a nice job of coaching this game. Here's Red trying to take it inside. Strip Earl got a hand on it. Loose ball on the floor. Thomas with a pickup. Three men back. Earl down to the baseline. Thomas a fake. And now from 12 puts it up and in. And Sanderson in his arms up. And he'll be charged with a foul. That's going to be 15 for Billy Thomas. There were a couple of good plays by Kansas players that time. Eric Chenow kept the ball alive down on the Ohio State end and enabled them to get to the offensive end. And you see Thomas fouled right there as he drills it from about eight feet. Sanderson right on his arm. And Thomas to the line. He has not gone to the line much this year. Coming into this game just three out of four from the line he in just the 15 game. He just doesn't take it to the floor, put it on the floor and take it to the basket. He likes that outside shot or take it to the floor, put it down there and pull it up and take the short jump. The cut in half at 35-32, Ohio State. Robertson overplaying his man a little bit, and the shot will not go. It's not going to go. In and out and out again. Earl with the rebound. Here's Robertson across the court to the corner. Thomas. Genoa, a little trouble finding the handle. Pierce spinning. Nice move to the baseline, and it will not finish. A great move, but he could not finish his business. Here's Thomas at three. We'll get Kansas even. Yeah, right now, Billy Thomas has picked his club up and put it on his back. Robertson, into the corner. Bradford. Heavy traffic. Earl tries to put it up. Now it's loose on the floor and a scramble. Ohio State out of there with a basketball and again some great effort on the floor by Carlos Davis. There were four guys down there and nobody really had possession of the ball. Single off the board. Great pass underneath. 
Zeebler makes that little cut down in there, and he's getting a lot of points down in there, but thank Davis for getting the ball to it. He has 17. He's probably 23 against Kent. Coming off a double-figure 10-point performance against Chattanooga. Pierce, and he throws it. The Jayhawks hoping that will get Pierce started. Yeah, when well, you got a player of that caliber that's got that kind of ability, he's not going to say stay under too long. He's going to rise to the top. This is guy. This guy is just too good. He has seven, makes it a two-point game. Ohio State with the ball in the lead. Sanders out to help out front. Pierce follows him there. Reed cuts inside. The red, I beg your pardon, and now Davis into the corner. on the shot clock and Thomas with the steal headed for the bucket puts it in the end. Billy Thomas has 21. Dwayne that was good defense that time by Kansas. They had covered the wing position they wouldn't allow the ball to go in the post and they had pressure on the ball. The game tied at 40 on the steal and the conversion by Thomas. Ohio State with the basketball. Inside Johnson. First time he's hand the ball in a while low. Davis. This is everything. Kansas will get the basketball. Watch Billy Thomas here now on defense. See, now there's the cut. He comes from the offside, grabs it. Nobody's out in front. Just lay it out there, run it, catch the ball, and lay it up. Billy Thomas having a wonderful game. Get a little breather right now. Jenner with back in Earl out. And Nashawn Coleman, who has some stitches on his forehead, has returned to the game for Ohio State. Gregory. Bradford down to the corner. Here's a three attempt by Robertson will not go. And a big rebound for Red. Mike Red, the freshman. Out to Coleman. From the starter last year. Singleton could not get the tip to go down. Bradford back for Kansas. Too heavy traffic ball. Stolen. It's Red. Red started it and finished it. With help from Coleman in between. Bradford just could not come up with that basketball. He was trying to gather it in. Just couldn't do it. Ohio State just stayed after it. 16 for Michael Red. And the Buckeyes are up by two. Here's Gregory from here. Kenny Gregory. Kenny Gregory, the freshman out of Columbus. He and Red battled each other in high school, varsity, junior varsity, battling each other tonight. And now they're guarding each other. Right? Gregory's on him right now. Game tied at 42 with 12 minutes to play. Ohio State with the ball. Singleton finds Red and a pass. Anderson. We're going to get a travel call. That upsets Jim O'Brien on the sideline. It's a so we have a timeout on the floor. 11.54 to play tied at 42. Davis down in the corner. Against McGrath. Sanderson on front. This one thrown away. It's going to go to Kansas. Uh, Sanderson and Red, uh, miscommunication right there. Red was going to go back door. Sanderson thought he was going to come out to meet the ball. Grant working the basketball from the point. Robertson now out of the game. Pierce comes out. Ohio State's gone back to basically just a 2-3 matchup now. Gone away from that junk defense. Pierce has had a tough night from the floor. He's 3 of 15. Here's Thomas who's had a great night from the floor. It's deep from three-point territory. He has 27. Kansas grabs the lead. Okay, you like to have balance in your scoring, but if Billy Thomas is going to continue to shoot like that, I'd say, let's see more of that. <laughs> Sanderson, guarded by Earl. Davis. Kansas defense is picked up now. I think that three has invigorated them. Six minutes left to play. This will not go down. Earl closes up on the rebound. Pierce with a look, now the jumper, and he buries it. Well, if he gets hot, look out. He has nine tonight, and is now four of 16 from the floor. Jim O'Brien's going to take a timeout, and I think it's smart to do it right now. This game could get away from them in a hurry. 
Kansas up by five. Thomas swings it over to McGrath. Five minutes to play. Pierce takes it inside, knocked away. That ball's going to go out of bounds, and Ohio State will get it back. So the Buckeyes get a break with 4.53 left. Once again, I think Pierce is trying to force the issue there. He ought to just let the game come to him. He's had a difficult night shooting. When you get late in the game and you've got a tight game, when you're the leader in the club, expects you to score a lot of points. You expect to go out and do it. But just take your time and let it come to you. Singleton playing with a four foul. Johnson back in. He has four as well. Singleton looking for some help. And finally, Red comes out to relieve the pressure. So Kansas doing a nice job defensively that time. Davis on the give to Singleton. And side over Chenoweth. And another big bucket for Singleton, who's back in. He has 21 tonight. But once again, he got it in the paint. He finds a way to get it in there tight and still get it up and in. Three-point game. A little better than four minutes to play. Thomas. Davis went for the steal. Came up empty. Pierce. Get out, get out. McGrath now working the top of the corner. Pierce, yeah. oh, he parries it for three. See, that is. The game came to him. He got the ball right where he wanted it. He got the three, and now that gives Kansas a six-point lead. And he's in double figures for the 28th straight time. Sanderson. The red. Six-point spread, and then a whistle on Thomas on a hold. Red had beaten him that style of rock at 335. Second foul. Robertson will report back in, replacing McGrath, who did a nice job. McGrath, the senior out of Topeka, the only Kansan on this team, and a good job during that stretch. Well, the thing that he gives you is a good guy off the bench, a good backup role player. Handles the basketball, dribbles it, passes it well, and defends well. Here it comes. Red to initiate the inbound. Singleton down to the corner, red baseline and a hold. A foul. Jenna with the big man charged with another one. That's his third. It's all right for Kansas. Only their sixth team foul. That's the fourth on Chenoweth. So he will depart. Brantford in to replace him. Singleton. A nice look. Red tries to reverse. But there was the whistle. And the Red could not get this one to drop. You know, this single possession by Ohio State. That's been three fouls by Kansas in less than about 15 seconds. Watch this nice pass by Singleton as Red makes the baseline cut. Boy, is that a good-looking pass. Red tries, he tries to find ways to get it in, doesn't he? Yep. Pierce charged with a foul. A funny little uh, mechanical move there, putting that ball in his left foot before he goes up to shoot the free throw. Let's see if we can watch this again. And as good as he has been, Larry, he's hitting just 54% from the free throw line. Now, what, what team dribbles off? Kind of put it on his hip before he takes it up. So he takes it back, back again. Gets into a rhythm. Now looks and releases. And it's one of two this time. A five-point Kansas lead. That's 20 tonight for Red. So another 20-point performance. In 10 of the 11 games he played for Ohio State. Robertson they tried to trap him and a bump out there by Carlos Davis. And Davis and Sanderson on him, second foul on Carlos Davis. They were actually lying in wait. When the ball went to the wing, they were going to try to double team, whether it was going to be the left side or the right side. They had Robertson right in front of the Kansas bench there and committed the foul. Now Robertson to the line, better than a 70% shooter. Academic all conference. Converts it. He has four tonight. All right, first grade, both sides here. He took over last year when Vaughn went down. Made 11 starts. Kansas won 11 and 0. Paul Pierce says he's the most underrated college player going. I would say that too if he'd give me the ball. <laughs> <laughs> you got to take care of those point guards Absolutely, if you're a man buddy. up front. You got to take betcha. care of the linemen if you're the quarterback or the running back. Right, what do you need? <laughs> Seven-point lead now for Kansas. 
and the ball knocked out of bounds by the Kansas defense. It's going to belong to Ohio State. 2.54 left to play. A great effort by the Buckeyes tonight. They need a bucket here. And we're going to get a 20-second timeout request by Kansas. With a 2.54 remaining on the clock and a 59-52 score. Well, Jim O'Brien right now, he's got his club uh, right at the edge right there, down by seven. Got to ask him for a little bit more. Yeah, they played a lot of minutes tonight that's starting five. But guys, look, we got 2.54 left to play. We got a chance to get back in this game right now. We need a basket right here. Kansas up by seven. The free throw breakout for Kansas. They have made more than their opponents have attempted from the line. By a couple. Off the inbound, and it will not go down for Singleton. Boy, a big miss for Ohio State, and Pierce comes out with the basketball. Boy, they, they got an easy look at it, too. Mm -hmm. That is a crucial miss for the Buckeyes. And Pierce will pop it. Yes, sir. Paul Pierce hits again. 61-52. 14 for Pierce. Well, the buckets by Thomas and Pierce. Oh, with about 540. Really turned the tide here. Bradford out of there. Out of Robertson. Kansas starting to take turns. And Kansas has opened a 64-52 lead. And the Kansas run in the last seven minutes, 18-3. The grandest lead. There's a pass to... Oh, oh move by Red. Red grabbed the ball and reversed it again. 22 for the freshman Michael Red. Well, now that was some maneuver there. Pierce open for three points. He has 20. You can take every diamond hit and let him launch it. It's Pierce and Robertson on the combo here. And there's a hole in Robertson. Stops the clock with a minute 22. Well, something to see here in the last couple of exchanges. Now, yeah, Michael Red, look at this move. You talk about athleticism. This is what we talk about. Look at this body movement. Inside, holds it. Stayed in the air long enough to get it to reverse off of the glass on the other side. You want the answer? Give it to Paul Pierce from beyond the arm. Well, this guy's gotten hot in the last five minutes. You can't keep quality players down. They're going to step up. McGrath back into the game. And Ohio State calls for a 20-second timeout. Well, this run for Kansas. And, and you, you just had a feeling whether LaFrance was in there or not because of if nothing else, not only talent, but depth. And that's something that Ohio State has to contend with. Jim O'Brien only six, seven deep. Eight if you stretch it, but realistically seven. And that's what we've seen tonight. Davis will be at the line. Carlos Davis. Looking at a one and one. At the front of the rim. And a graph out for the basketball to Pierce. Pierce struggled through that first half, but he's enjoying himself now. And here's a hold on Red. As Pierce entered the front wall, stops the clock with 112 left to go. That's the 10th team foul, and Pierce will go to the line now for two. Well, the interesting matchups in this Rainbow Classic coming up tomorrow. Uh, Lou, the, the wonderful guard that Nebraska has, a six-footer. Had a career high the other day of 34. Book, and he score, play, run the floor, shoot it, does everything. And Alika Smith, a great outstanding guard for Hawaii, so he could have a good backcourt confrontation right there. And then on the other end, if it is Kansas and Vanderbilt, Vanderbilt with a very tall physical club, and uh, could be problems for Kansas since they don't have a lot of strength inside. Now that LaFrance is gone, we could see a battle maybe more to the inside and not so much in the backcourt in that second game. Here's the steal off the inbound. McGrath comes up with it. As Pierce converted from the line, and Pierce has 22 behind the 27 of Thomas. Now with a minute left to play, Kansas with this 69-54 lead. 
Content to spread it out. Let the clock tick. Well, it's going to be a hard-fought win for Kansas. I think what they'll take away from this is the fact that, yes, their best player has gone to the bench and will be there for a couple of months, but they found some guys maybe they can step up, particularly Billy Thomas. McGrath shot out of the corner, rimmed out. They used all of the shot clock before they unloaded. Down to just under 30 seconds to play. And this is finished at this point. A 23-5 run. Singleton misses long. Red tries to keep it alive. Out of bounds. Touched by C.B. McGrath. With 18 seconds left to play. Kansas will move to 15-1. and one. This game was tied at the half. 26-26. Singleton off the glass, got the tip after the initial miss. He has 23, and that equals his high. Singleton, the junior out of Detroit. Kansas. Running down the clock. And Kansas has emerged with a win, 69. Well, I really felt like Jim O'Brien did about as good a coaching job as he could do for about 35 minutes. His guys just got a little bit gassed. Kansas turned the pressure up. And to Kansas and Roy Williams' credit, they came out here realizing what they had to do with their star player on the bench. going to be there for a while. Several guys had to step up. Tonight it was Billy Thomas. Then right at the end it was Paul Pierce. So two big players, Pierce at 6'7", and Billy Thomas 6'4", maybe they're going to be the two guys to carry him for the next two months. So the final score from Honolulu, 69-56, Kansas over Ohio State. For Larry Conley at our entire ESPN Rainbow Classic Cur